Hello and welcome to this demonstration on Expert Choice 11. We're going to help you get started by showing you how to create a new model, structure your objectives and alternatives, measure your objectives and alternatives, and synthesize the results. We'll even show you how to do sensitivity analysis to look at what-if scenarios. Let's get started. Open Expert Choice and in the Welcome dialog box select Create New Model. Also select Structuring, which is a mode of creating our objectives. Press OK. Let's go ahead and name this decision. I'm going to call this car selection because I'm about to buy a new car. My wife and I have been looking at hybrids and we're thinking about which car is best. So the goal here for our decision is to select best car for our family. Press OK. Now it's taken me to the affinity diagramming pane and this is where I can now enter my objectives or brainstorm my objectives. Press on the objective button and we're going to use three simple objectives at a very high level although you could get very detailed and list a lot of objectives here. I've listed three objectives performance, safety, and cost. You may have 10 or 20 or more and then you would structure and drag and drop them into clusters. When we're done structuring we now press tree view. Okay, I have my objectives listed, but now I need to prioritize them. I can choose the numerical pairwise comparison mode, the verbal pairwise comparison mode, or the graphical mode. I'm going to use the graphical mode. So, drag the bar to the right for the one you think is more important. So, in other words, which is more important, performance or safety, with respect to selecting the best car for our family? Let's see. Um, I think performance is slightly more important right now only because I know that all of these cars I'm looking at are reasonably safe and cost is definitely more important right now because uh, we're on a tight budget and uh, whew, I'll have to say cost is more important okay do I want to record say yes and now I can see I've prioritized my objectives now I can't really read the I can read the numbers but I can't see the priorities as clearly I can then go ahead and press on this priorities button and sort and now I can see that cost is my top priority followed by performance then safety and my inconsistency is reasonable. I can also see not only the rank order but the intervals and most importantly the ratios of relative proportion. In fact I can normalize these results and see that cost if it were 100 percent of my goal is more than twice imp as important as safety in this case. Alright let's get back to the model view and let's add a couple of cars. Press on the add alternative button and let's see I am looking at the Toyota Prius hybrid and I'm looking at the Honda Accord hybrid and I'm looking at the Ford Escape hybrid Oops, I had a typo. Let's go ahead and right click on that. Select edit. There we go. Okay, so now I've got three cars that I'm looking at and I have three objectives that I'm looking at. And let's go ahead and measure. Put your cursor on performance and now select the pairwise mode you'd like to use. Now I can compare the Toyota versus the Honda and which is preferable with respect to performance. I'm going to say the Honda is more preferable in this case, probably by about that much the Honda versus the Ford which is preferable in this case you know uh, I've been doing some reading on it it still looks like the Honda is, is preferable in this area and the Toyota versus the Ford uh, I'm gonna say maybe the Toyota is a little bit more preferable here okay record your judgments now put your cursor on safety select the pairwise mode which is preferable Toyota or Honda with respect to safety uh, I'm definitely gonna say the Honda here Honda or Ford Again, I'm going to say the Honda and Toyota or Ford. Um, I'm going to go with the Ford just because it provides a little more sustenance in, the, in an accident, I think. Okay, and cost. Press on pairwise. Uh, the Toyota is definitely more reasonable than the Honda. The Ford is more reasonable than the Honda. And uh, Toyota versus Ford. Hmm. I think the uh, Toyota is more reasonable. All right. So, 
put your cursor on the goal, and we've now analyzed this decision, but let's synthesize the results. With your cursor on the goal, select Synthesis, and press Sort. I can see now, for my needs right now, the Honda Accord really does uh, contribute the best to my objectives, followed by the Toyota and then the Ford. Now, this really isn't enough information for me, so I'm going to go ahead and close this view, and with my cursor on the goal, go to Sensitivity, Dynamic. Sensitivity graphs allow me to look at what-if scenarios and to validate and to verify my results. So performance, safety, and cost, I can see cost was the most important, followed by performance and safety. And I can see that with the objectives weighted this way, I can see that the Honda was the most preferable. Well, let's look at that. What if um, safety were more important? Gee, the Honda would even increase more. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to press home. What if performance were more important? Again, the Honda. Okay. And what if cost were perhaps less important? Again, the Honda, or if it were more important than the Toyota. You know, this decision is starting to make sense to me. I'm going to go ahead and look at one last view, performance sensitivity. Here I can see my objectives on the x-axis on the bottom. Cost, my most important. I can read that on the y-axis on the left with the objective percentage. And I can see my alternatives on the right and how they performed overall, as well as with respect to each objective. So the Honda, preferable overall, worst on cost, by far the best on safety, by far the best on performance. You know, I think for my needs right now, even though the Honda is more expensive, I really do believe that, you know, I pr should probably rethink my, my rating here on safety. But I think in the long run, the Honda does meet my needs the best. I'm going to go ahead and buy the Honda. Well, that's all for this demonstration. Obviously, we've simplified it. We did not include any data, but at least I hope you get an idea of how to create a model, how to measure it, and how to synthesize and, re and review the results and conduct sensitivity analysis. Thank you for spending your time with Expert Choice, and please, happy measuring.